Hey everybody, my name is Avery with Rebilia. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit about installation, points of integration, a couple of functionalities and use cases of the app. So let's just dive in into the installation. Uh, first step is to choose your gateway. You can choose one of these four gateways. I'm going to choose Braintree and I'm going to copy in the keys from the gateway. After you're copying the keys from the gateway, you're going to choose if you want to do authorize and capture or authorize only and choose if you want to verify for CVV or not. Now let's continue to the next step. In this step you need to implement your secure domain name. It's going to be on the top over here in the address bar. Copy everything from the beginning until the .com, nothing after. It will cause Rebilia to malfunction. Let's continue. Step number three, you're going to copy the clipboard a piece of code and by clicking on the second here, you're going to be moved to the design mode. It's a shortcut that we made for you, so you can paste the code of Rebilia and save on the top left. Second piece of code that we're going to do is just the same. So we're going to continue, copy the clipboard, the second piece of code, go back to the design mode, move to styles.css, and scroll all the way to the bottom. In the bottom, we're going to paste the Rebilia code and save. Now you can close the design mode tab, we don't need it anymore. Click I confirm, continue, and that's it. You're done with the installation. One note about stencil themes, guys. The implementation of the codes are going to be in two different files. We just finished the uh, integration a couple of days ago, so we don't have a video out yet, but you're going to have it soon. All right, so now that the program is installed, let's see the points in integration. The first point of integration is going to be in the checkout. So this is a regular BigCommerce single page checkout. We're going to click on the continue buttons. We're going to choose credit card as the method, proceed to payment, and now Rebilia is going to integrate into the store. So this is the Rebilia code. You have your saved credit card. If you're a new client, you're going to have only a new card to use. Every card you're going to implement over here, we're automatically showing the next purchase above. And the second point of integration is in the My Account page. It's an implementation that we put into your store, Manage Payment Options. Allows your shoppers to delete credit cards that they don't want to use anymore, view the subscription credit cards that they have, and add new credit cards to their list. So here I have an American Express card. What we're going to do, we're going to try to save it, and you'll see that it also tries to authorize the card. This card has a problem with the CVV. Once we fix it, we authorize the card, and Rebilia is going to save it. Any change you make over here will automatically show itself in the checkout page. And as you can see up until now, everything happens inside of your own store's URL. No redirections, no changes, all in your store. Alright, so now that we've seen the installation and points of integration, let's talk about two major functionalities that Rebilia gives to your store. First one of them comes in the dashboard and the transaction section. We're going to talk a little bit about the declines. The declined orders up until now in BigCommerce, you don't have a lot of information about them and it's really, really hard to track them down and try to convert them. Rebilia gives you a nice way to actually do this. Go to the transaction section, filter your view to sales, declined, and choose the time frame that you want to check. You'll see all the declined orders that you have on the store. Click on the BigCommerce order number. You will also get all the information of the client, of the order, everything just like in Big Commerce. By clicking on the view button on the right side, you're gonna have the response log from the gateway. Now it's telling us that the processor has declined this. This is probably a real fraud or a real decline because they don't have money in the bank account. But let's take a look on a different situation. All right, so here we have a different situation with a decline. But we have a status message saying that the authorization was successful. The transaction was declined due to an address or zip code mismatch. Let's scroll down into the log and we can actually find all this information. So the city is listed as Atlanta, the zip code as uh, Georgia zip code, but the state is Arizona. This is probably the issue. Call the client, convert this into a sale, get some more money into your bank. Just for you to know guys, across all the transactions that we see coming through in Rebilia, 35% of them are declines, and 65% of those declines can be converted into money. And the second functionality we're going to talk about right now is manual charges for phone orders, for recurring orders, anything of that nature. All you need to do is just log in as the shopper, go to the front end, check if they have a saved credit card with the manage payment options. 
if they do just enter products into their cart or reorder anything that they've already had and you have a manual charge with the saved credit card. Guys, Rebellia has so much more to offer you like bulk charges, partial refunds, tracking order history. I'm just trying to make this video short. If you want to learn more, we have a 60 page manual that we'll be happy to share with you guys. The bottom point here is the ROI. Across the border users between 3 to 5 months, Rebellia shows increases of 27% in orders, 43% in revenue, 14% conversion, and 14% in average order. If you want to learn more about the benefits of using Rebellia, you can contact us at 404-900-6858 or email us at hello at And this is Avery with Rebellia and thank you very much for watching.